Hi everyone, welcome back to another MG Lifestyle Solutions Lifestyle Review video. If you're new to the channel, thanks for joining me. Consider subscribing. If you're returning, welcome back. Thanks for coming back. And in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the Bob and Brad C2 massage gun. Um, you know, there are a lot of massage guns on the market these days. I'm going to open this up. I'm going to use it in the clinic. I'm going to use it on myself. I'm going to try to get some good use out of it and give you a well-rounded review, my opinions, uh, maybe some patient opinions, and see if it's worth the buy and how it just compares and stacks up against its competition. So let's jump in and see what it's all about. Our full disclosure, they did send me this massage gun to review and make a video, but that being said, they didn't give me any guidelines, they just said do your thing, and that's what I plan on doing. Alright, let's get the box open and check out the gun, see what's included with this box. So I like that it comes with this nice little carrying case, nice handle, all right, boom, That's the package, oh I like that it's pretty compact, this is these things we got one, two, three, four, five attachments, and this little rubber silicone piece. I think it's a replacement for the, for the gaskets on these. Yeah. All right, so it does use a USB-C, which is nice because it's becoming more the standard, more universal application. So you don't have to carry around its own charging supply. Um, you know, hopefully you already have some products with that USB-C and makes it a little easier. And then we got the manual. Pretty, pretty thick manual, we'll see what that's all about. Um, but yeah, let's see. All right guys, so let's talk a little bit more about the Bob and Brad massage gun here. Um, I've been using it for two or three weeks now, and I've used it in the clinic on a variety of patients, different age groups, different conditions in terms of what they're coming in for. I've been using it on myself. Um, I've you know, conveniently, I've been working out more in the last two or three weeks. I've been squatting again, cycling, and I've actually been getting sore again. Wow, I took a little time off. I know, wild, but it's fine, okay? It happened. But back in it, and I got this little tool to test out as my muscles are adjusting once again. So, you know, usually when I squat, I do get pretty sore through my quads, glutes, hammies, uh, but primarily quads, you know, kind of peak out at that 24 hour mark. And I tried the massage gun to just see if I can manage my soreness a little bit. And when I was using it, you know, I threw it on level three. Typically, just I figure that's the best to you know, get a good intensity, but also conserve some battery life. Um, you know, I used it pretty much all day in the clinic and, you know, two, three days pretty consistently and the battery held up. So again, I wasn't using it for, you know, 20 minutes a patient. It was more so, hey, let's use this for a few minutes. We're doing some manual anyways. Um, and yeah, just to get an opinion. And everyone did like it, by the way. You know, some people had experiences with massage guns, some people didn't. No one gave any negative feedback, so that's nice. Um, and yeah, so anyways, the battery lasted throughout that. Um, it charges up in a couple hours, I think. Um, I you know I didn't I didn't set the timer exactly the other day, but I ended up leaving, coming back, it was charged. But I'm gonna assume it was a couple hours because of in terms of how long it took to get to the halfway point, so I just kind of multiplied it by two. Makes sense, right? Um, but anyway, so I was using this on myself to try to manage some soreness after squatting, and I did find that it helped during, obviously, when I'm using the, the massage gun, but it didn't really increase the speed that 
I typically recover in from that soreness, which is usually a couple days. I feel like it was pretty much the same, but you know, when I was using it, that soreness felt a lot better and just the leg, the limb, the, the environment, if you will, the perception of soreness did decrease. Um, also, I'm a bit sore through my mid back today. And again, when I'm using it, it does feel better, but you know, it doesn't completely get rid of um, that soreness or any kind of symptoms. So the goal is just to kind of move the tissue around, increase blood flow to certain areas, allow the tissue to slide and glide a little bit. Just another way of, you know, mobilizing that tissue, not having to use your hands, not using other tools. It's a pretty quick and, you know, low risk device that pretty much anyone can use. It's not like a skilled tool. It's not like dry needling where you need a ton of education on anatomy. Um, you know, just avoid, avoid the bony points, you know, avoid your face, stick to the big muscle groups, you're gonna be fine. Um, and in this case, there's a nice booklet that kind of talks you through, tells you, you know, kind of what, what knobs, which attachments to use, and what body part, right? So that's nice. Again, I haven't seen other manuals, but they give you options in terms of which attachments to put on, depending on, um, and it does come in different languages, which is nice. And then just the basic tutorial, it's a simple device, pretty intuitive, um, right? Charging, power, to you know, turn it on by holding, push it to change the intensity, hold it to turn off, bada bing, bada boom, pull to change out the knobs, All right? This one's a little smaller and a lot more firm. All right, so on a smaller area, you can hit this one, and then you do want to do you know you do want to turn it off when you're changing them. Um, this would be awkward. Okay, I like this little one. Definitely a smaller surface area. So if you want to really dig in and get deep, you know this would be one that you could use. But it's also actually I like it on my hand here. Let's turn it back on. And after you know a long day of maybe manual or working on people with my hands, it does feel nice to kind of just get in here and massage this meaty area on your hand. All right, let's talk about some of the stats on this gun according to their website. Um, so this C2 massage gun is one and a half pounds. Um, in terms of comparing it to other guns, you can compare it to the RPMs that it can produce in max speed of 3200 RPMs, um, 2500 milliamp battery in here. And the cool feature is that I guess there's a, a 10 minute auto shut off so you can't kind of overdo it and overwork the motor. Um, sounds less than 60 decibels um, in terms of how loud it is. So those are all features that you can kind of compare with other guns and see what you need and see what means you know what's more important to you basically and the nice thing is the price on this on their website is 129 dollars and 99 cents and again like i said you can find the link below get it on amazon and even on their website it goes it's a link that says buy on amazon so it seems like they sell everything through there um, there's some other disclaimers that you would want to read through if you actually get this you know, please contact your physician before use if you have undergone recent surgery or have any metal pins or plates in your body. So that's interesting. You know, that vibration, they're obviously, they don't want to loosen any hardware. So that's something to definitely consider if you're in that boat. You get them on Amazon these days, you know, and the prices vary from 30 bucks to $600. So. Um, I think the big difference there is battery life, the different speeds or intensity, um, how much feedback there is, you know, build quality is very nice on this, um, feels very solid, doesn't feel like it's going to fall apart, the materials 
seem to be, um, you know, quality. And, you know, just the ergonomic component of this gun, it, you know, really kind of reminds me of like a pistol almost, you know, the pistol grip, which is very convenient compared to a circular tube that a lot of the other uh, massage guns have. Um, this is a little bit more natural, easy to hold. Um, and yeah, I think that makes a big difference. Also price point, this is a nice price point. You get a good quality product, I think, um, for a reasonable price and you're not going to that upper price tag for, I think pretty much the same thing. Um, you know, all of them pretty much have the five almost identical attachments mm -hmm. and I couldn't really figure out a big difference. They all pretty much go on and off the same way. I haven't had any issues with this one in terms of anything coming off as long as you put them in all the way. And yeah, I've been pleased. My son was able to hold it. He's only three. Uh, my wife's been using it and it's legit. So if you're in the market for a massage gun, I would definitely consider the Bob and Brad as a top choice and you can find them on their website or I'll put a, a link in the comments or in the description below. Check that out. That's um, a wrap for this video. I appreciate you guys watching. Um, if you haven't subscribed already, please do so below. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoy this content. And if you have any recommendations for videos in the future, feel free to drop that in the comments below. And I'll catch you guys next time. You will.